In After Effects, go to File, Import, File. Navigate to your time-lapse photos and click on the first photo in the time-lapse sequence. Make sure that the tick box for Camera Raw Sequence is selected. If you've shot in a format such as JPEG, there will be an option for JPEG Sequence as well. Click Open, and if your time-lapse photos were shot in RAW, like in this example, then the Camera Raw Importer window will open. In here, you can make adjustments that will be applied to every photo in the sequence. This will most often be exposure and white balance adjustments. When happy, click OK, and the time-lapse will be imported into After Effects and assembled. You can rename it here for ease. Drag and drop the time-lapse onto your composition, and depending on the resolution you're using, you might need to rescale and reposition your image. We're also going to trim down the composition to the work area to remove the extra unused space at the end of the timeline. In this example, we've used a motion control slider while shooting to bring movement into the time-lapse. However, if your time-lapse is just static, such as in this example, you can use scale keyframes to digitally zoom in or zoom out of the time-lapse, or also position keyframes to pattern across.